Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to have a look at TechCorp, a game about creating software and hardware alike. I will explain things as we go along, my suggestion is to dive right into it. So let's start up a new game. My company name is gonna be NateMate and we're gonna do... Oh, sandbox. No, let's do normal mode. We can choose our area. Since I live in Switzerland, I'm gonna choose Western Europe. We can also see what they have in demand, most of all laptops and phones, so maybe that's something we should remember. They're not so much into consoles or portables. And here we go, here we are in TechCorp. The first thing we have to do is set up a basic desk for our salesperson. So this person is going to make sure that we get some contracts. We also have to go ahead and hire some employees. For that we first have to search for them. I'm gonna search for five days and start recruitment for $2,000. Here are the candidates we have found thus far. I think we're gonna go for James Brown. He is a pretty high level and not too expensive. So let's go ahead and hire this guy. We want to assign him to a desk. So this is gonna be our sales executive. And of course, we also have to give him a task. So for the time being, he's going to look for software contracts. This shouldn't take too long. However, in the meantime, we are gonna look for some programmers. So let's search for them. There we go. We have a bunch of nice programmers. Uh, for instance, Thomas Wilson seems to be a reasonable guy. Of course, we're also gonna give this guy his own desk. Let's assign a programmer. And as it happens, our salesperson also found the first contract. So we should be going for that right away. We're gonna accept it and we can see which components are necessary to complete it. We can click the programmer and tell him to start working on an add-on. And there is a little bit of micromanagement. I should say a lot of micromanagement that comes in. However, you can ease the pain a little bit using managers. Right now, we don't have a lot of things going on. So I'm going to wait a little bit until we hire our first manager. We can check right here how it's going with the components. So let's pause the game right there. And we want to go for the next component. I wish you could make a queue of tasks to do but it doesn't seem to be possible at this moment. One more thing we definitely need is a way for the staff to take a break. So let's purchase a couch. I'm just gonna place that right there. Maybe to make things a little bit faster, it's not the worst of ideas to get a second programmer in the joint. James Miller seems to be the person to go for, and I'm gonna assign him to work on the back-end components. This way we get some more work done. I'm going to send my first programmer, Thomas, on a break, so he's going to be more efficient in the future. We already finished our first contract, so we're going to deliver it and of course also get a lot of money in the process. The second contract is already ready. Let's do this one as well. We just need to accumulate a little bit of money in the beginning. One thing the developers need to add is spacebar in order to switch between pause and play. All right, there we go. The second contract has been completed. We have plenty of money. It's time to dive into the research. First things first, we need to search for a researcher. Let's go ahead and do that. In the meantime, we can accept another contract. I'm just going to wait a little bit until my guys are rested. We have a bunch of researchers on the radar. I'm going to go for Anne Smith. She's going to need another basic desk. Let's uh, place her maybe here against the whiteboard. There we go. Anne, and she's going to research utility hardware generation one. We're ready to work on our next contract. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Another contract successfully done and we unlocked the prototyping. Let's have a look into that. Basically, we are working with the parts here in the attempts to upgrade them for when we manufacture our own parts some type of a reverse engineering. I'm, I'm not really sure. Let's just research them. And of course, we need an engineer for that. Let's go ahead and add an engineering desk. This can uh, probably go right there. I don't really care. And we also need to search for an engineer, naturally. We have a bunch of good ones on the radar here. Maybe Monica is going to be it. Yeah, sure. Monica Rodriguez. Right, so let's try this again. We're gonna start prototyping and wait. Where's my engineer? Oh no, Monica is a researcher. Darn it, we need to fire her. <laughs> we wanted an engineer, so it's gonna be Charles in this case. Hire him and he's going to work right there. And he's working on my first blueprint, I guess. Beautiful, we are ready to accept the next contract. Let's see what we can unlock after that. 
Looks like our first blueprint has been completed and we discovered a bunch of new technologies. And we're almost done with another contract right there. Take a break. It's time to upgrade our office. Beautiful. Should we already go for it or take another contract? I don't think we have a choice. Let's just do it. We still have our employees. However, we have to replace all of the furniture. Let's go with the TV set this time. I'm gonna add some desks right there for the programmers. Here we will be doing the research. Engineering station right next to it. And last but not least, uh, we need a salesperson, right? They can go into the corner. All right, then assigning all of the people. You can continue researching. You guys should be going on a break. You should be searching for software contracts. Thank you very much. And with that, I think we're back in uh, business, right? Mm, I want to do contracts even faster. I'm actually going to hire yet another programmer, I think. I shouldn't have fired the other guy. Oh, what are you going to do? You'll live and learn. What else could we add? Maybe a fridge. Yeah, that is not the worst of ideas because our engineer uh, desperately needs to take a break. Looking good. All right, we can deliver another contract and we are now practically rich. So maybe it's time to start creating our own stuff. Let's have a look into the factory. Right here, we probably want to go for huh, a product creation, maybe. And we can unlock something. Let's maybe go with the TV. Why the heck not? You're about to unlock a tech category, cost zero dollars. Sure thing. Let's create the TV. We want a generation three display. You know, all the best stuff that we have researched, we want in this build. We can give this a name, such as Nate TV, and the brand is gonna be, let's create our own brand, which is Nate Mate. All right, next we can choose the color. I do like, um, let's go with something crazy. Yeah, sure. Oh, that is hilarious. We can even take a picture which is then going onto the box. Next up, this is a game I don't quite understand just yet, but we basically have to fill in these modules to get the best outcome. So in terms of UI, we of course want a UI module and we can see some stats are changing. A Q&A module isn't too bad. Maybe optimization. Sure, everything is in the green already. Let's see if we can do database. Yeah, that is more balanced. And maybe a camera module. Sure. Let's try network. Uh, no, that is full of box. An audio module. Yeah. Next, we take care of the OS and so on and so forth. So this is quite a process and not really intuitive. There we go. This is going to be my final product. A lot of box in the UI. Oh, what are you going to do? Let's hit next and uh, we now want to launch a campaign. I think we need to outsource it for the time being. We're going to produce 5,000 units to begin with and launch in 90 days. Let's do three months. And our marketing budget is going to be 40k. I think that is the minimum. There we go. Nationwide. Sure enough. Let's launch. Do we even have the money? I don't think we have it. No! Oh, come on! Can I get a loan without having to redo everything? Oh, jeez. Um, let's uh, close this off. Uh, let me try to get a loan. 500k? Sure. No! I have to do everything... Ah, jeez. Alright, I did everything again. Uh, not the same way, of course, but who cares? Let's just launch the product. Okay, we need a new employee. Let me see, a marketeer, actually. We're gonna start recruitment for that. We probably also need basic desk. Next, we need to assign programmers to a product. Okay, so they can all work on that, which is pretty good. We have our marketeer right here, Richard Brown. He's also young, so hip with the young folk. And he's going to be taking that desk. All right, let's select the product, Nate TV. Waiting for phase one setup. Okay. Ah, there it is. Announcement. Uh, a trailer. Nice. Okay. Ooh. We are gonna do a commercial as well. Let's see. A commercial and then maybe an event. Let's spend some money on the trailer. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. 30% the trailer, 40% commercial and 30% event. I'm not sure. Might be a hit or miss. The trailer is gonna feature on the hardware, since we spend a lot of time researching and engineering. 
the style is gonna be funny. I love funny trailers. And then, uh, ooh, let's do 30 seconds. Should be enough, right? People's attention span isn't that great. As for the commercial, we can actually get a celebrity. <laughs> Chris Hall, Shelly Com, Leonardo De Gaporio. <laughs> Yeah, let's get this actor here. And we we have a really tight budget. So yeah, we cannot just choose everyone. Let's uh, do Dolliver Crane and then maybe Maria Johnson. The focus is going to be funny again. What? What what does that even do? Okay. The direction is really important when you want to be funny, right? So direction I don't even know. Sound. Let's try something like that sure last but not least we're doing the event so hmm. let's do a soccer match i mean they want to watch the games on tv right the announcement stage of nate tv has been configured now you need to put the marketeer to work my marketeer is working so everything is fine uh, is she t come on get to work everyone needs to work on the product right now there we go software is completed now it's just about the production where do i do i have to produce it myself i thought we outsourced it the trailer has been launched check this out we even get uh, some comments total viewers 300k that's not too shabby the commercial also gave us some hype <laughs> if they need leonardo di Caporio for their marketing they are not worth it <laughs> oh that's hilarious and finally, the event report. Uh, let's check it out. Total of viewers, 422k. Plus 10 hype. Not too shabby. Okay, so now we have to do this all over again. It's like a second phase, a second campaign phase. I'm not sure. We were pretty successful with the trailer. Maybe we're just gonna do one trailer and nothing... Oh, I have to choose other things. Let's try trailer event endorsement. Oh, I totally forgot to set up the sliders. <laughs> We still got uh, a little bit of hype here. Oh, something is happening. Nate TV launched. Marketing score 87 of 100. That's not bad, right? Total hype 100 of 100. Critics reception 8 out of 10. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Why a rating of C? All right, not bad. Next, we have to release another product. What is this about? Ah, okay. So here I can get some statistics on my sales. We already sold 190 units. Pretty cool. All right, guys, we are back. I kept on playing a little bit. In the process, I unlocked a couple more features, such as the manager. Well, we had access to that before, but I'm using it now. So right now we have all of the employees assigned and whichever task I assign them to do, they are going to do together and therefore much more quickly. However, there is a problem with that. I cannot manage them in terms of sending them to the break and usually uh, sending them to the break when they are at a certain level is not sensical, if that is even a word. You want to send them to their breaks in their downtime. Also, the manager uses up their energy quite quickly, I have to say. Anyways, this is not important. At the moment, I can now also research mobile hardware generation, for instance. So now we can launch add-ons, etc, etc. We also have access to the factory. You can see I already set up four factories in order to do basic components such as for this contract here. Let's actually accept one of those. And we can see we need 7k inputs, 8k Bluetooth guys, then 8k batteries and a bunch of uh, GPUs. All we have to do in order to complete that is purchase enough materials. So I, I thought I just purchase enough of everything, you know, it's not too expensive. And then we start producing. So let's maybe set these machines to produce what we need exactly, which is here the input. Then the second machine is going to produce the Bluetooth. You can see which materials are required. So if you want to produce 8K Bluetooth materials, then you need 24,000 plastics. We're also going to produce a battery and last but not least, we're going to produce GPUs right there. All right, if we now unpause the game, we are practically completing this contract. You can see the resources are being used and the components are going up. Now, for me, this poses a few issues. For instance, there's no reasonable difference between the components. They just use different materials, but you produce them in the same machine. There is no crafting chain involved in that. So it's very simplistic. I mean, there's a lot of potential to the game. 
crafting your own stuff. I mean, we can do our own consoles uh, in time. You can see there are a bunch of machines. At the moment, I'm only using the component machine for the contracts, but I guess I could use an assembly machine to then create my own TVs and then modules for that. Oh, this is actually the TV assembly machine. There is a lot of potential, but I see uh, a risk in this type of feature to actually get a little bit bland or boring. Because there's literally no difference for me in all of these materials. Just when something is being used up, I, I click buy and purchase some more. And then I get more materials until I'm done with the contract. We're actually already done, so I can sell that and we got the money. And there is yet another contract that we could complete. But it's just a lot of managing and I think they will have to implement some kind of a thing that makes this a little bit more appealing. That's just my personal opinion. Now, there's also a software creation feature. So, I mean, this is a real nice package. Creating hardware and software alike, managing everything, but at the moment it just feels like a, you know, point and click game more than a, a real strategy or management game. So that's basically what I think about it at the moment. Uh, we can actually research that. Let's also go on a break and then with you. Uh, you're still researching the blueprint. You can go on a break later. But anyways, you know, I could just go and uh, search for a software contract now. Because at the moment, my programmers have nothing to do. They just have simply nothing to do. And actually, I did start a feature research, right? Because let, let me actually check that. We did do the mobile tech. So maybe we now have to research that with the blueprints here. We're just going to add that to our blueprints. You can also see we now have 117 fans, which doesn't seem to be too shabby. And we sold our second product, which was a photo camera. There we go. So we can now produce stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and do that component. And you can see since all of the programmers are working together, this is going much, much quicker. But yeah, I'm basically just waiting here to do the, the components. And then I complete the contract. It's just there's something missing that makes this a little bit more appealing. Like make the individual components more meaningful. It's just a different icon at the moment and sometimes it takes more time, sometimes it takes less time to do it. For instance, this component takes a little bit longer. I will probably have a look at this game again in a year's time. I mean, it is early access at the moment. And I really hope they can work things out a little bit. Uh, let's just finish that contract to wrap it up. And with that, I hope I was able to actually give you a good insight into what's going on here. For instance, like right now, I would like to get these guys a break, but I can only do that if I remove them from the list here and then I can actually give them a break. But yeah, let's deliver the contract and we are rich. I like it. But yeah, guys, with that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed this uh, first look into the game. I hope I could give you an idea what it is about. And without any further ado, have a great time and see you soon. Bye bye.